Hey guys, it's Athena. I can't believe it's been four weeks. I feel like I just put up that Disney video, but um, no, it's been freaking four weeks. Uh, Hogwarts video is what I meant to say. But here we are. Woohoo! I got like 15 minutes before Poochie gets home. As promised, I wanted to share with you a little Target haul. And the funny thing is, Target has not gotten in their official... 2018 Halloween stuff. The decoration portion isn't there, but if you haven't been to Target yet, OMG, get thee there ASAP because in the socks section and in the, the little cheap dollar aisle, although everything there is that I liked is three or five dollars, it's still cheap considering there's some pretty good stuff there. Yeah, that stuff is stocked. So go, 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 go before you run out of time. If you follow me on Facebook, you may have seen my post that I spent $247. It was not all on Halloween stuff. Some of it was other things like underwear, which I'm not gonna show you my little skivvies, okay? Hi. They were clearing out all of that back to school stuff. Yay, let's get on to it, shall we? All right. In my reusable bag, please buy one of these. Go to reuseit.com. And these are bagu, and they last for decades. In my wonderful bag, let me show you what I have. When I can see the price, I will share it with you. But since I'm not wearing the, the glasses, I can't really see small print. This was a, one of those impulse buys. It was $3 in the little dollar section. It is a bun maker that makes a bat. So that's adorable. I don't do a whole lot of buns, but I'll make an exception for that. I love it. I bought one set of pencils for Poochie because he loves cats ever since we got little Luna. He is all about cats. And a lot of these pencils have kitty cats on it. So these are for him. $1 for 10. In the kids pajama section, I-99, it's uh, jammies. They bl they glow in the dark. I almost said they blow in the dark. I love that there's candy in the tummy. And yes, there's pants that go along with it. He has had so many skeleton jammies over the years. This is the first time it had candy, though. This was in the cheap bins, and this is $3.00. Also for Poochie to put in his room because it's got a kitty cat. Isn't that cute? It was also in the cheap bins. This was $3. This was so impulse. I'm not sure where I'm even going to put this, but there's string lights and purple hats. So look for these to possibly, hopefully, be in my backdrop soon. Speaking of which, I'll, if I remember, I'll share something cool about that. There should be some changes soon. My very messy altar. I'm not using it currently, so uh, you're, you can see it. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up. This was also in the cheapy bins. This was also $3. These are skull shot glasses. I'm going to make candles. I'm going to put candles in here. I'll probably be using this year round because it's amazing. Uh, what else do we have? In the cheap bins, these were a dollar. I got two sets of these clings. These are for Poochie. So this will go up in his room. And another exact one, same one for downstairs. We have big sliding glass. In the kitchen, I like to put some clings on there and keep them on there because it really helps birds not fly into a window and kill themselves. Along with this one, it's a pumpkin and it's witchy, therefore it's mine. Isn't that cute? This is for my class. Um, class birthdays, I always give my kids a pencil, usually a fun eraser, and usually a little journal or notebook. And I didn't buy a ton of these because I'm probably just going to give these for the uh, October birthday kids, but that one was cute. That one's another one. I also, whoa, I also got one of these for Poochie at $1. For $3, you could get this pack of kitty cat. These are blank pages. I pulled one out for Poochie. It comes in a pack of eight. And so seven of them I'll take to school. Lots of third graders like cats. It's just blank paper. 10 to 20 sheets of paper in there. There's hardly anything. For $3 you get eight. Cute. Hey, I had to cut in here because I had finished filming the video and then I found a bag of stuff I had forgotten to include. So there's a couple more things included. And uh, I got my little, can you see it? 
There you go, kind of. I got my little bat. I didn't even have to use the, the dumb little donut thing it came with. Okay, anyway, let me just share these last couple things that I forgot. For myself, a t-shirt. I have a million of these t-shirts. They're actually like sleeveless. But first, Hocus Pocus. And it's kind of cute. They're big, like big armholes where it kind of looks like you've cut it. And honestly, I think I probably will cut out the neckline to just add to that look because I like it when they come down a little, maybe not this low, but a little bit lower. Every year I buy myself a new one of these Pyrex glass jars with a lid. This year's design, it's going to be really hard to see. Little buildings with ghosts and witches in it. It's like a little town actually. I didn't realize that. How cute. Look on this side over. Can you see it there? There's a little, no you can't see it. Graveyard right here. Oh, there you can kind of see it. Next to that in the little kitchen area where the food stuff is. I always have like those cauldrons with a cake in it. I bought one last year. Now that I have a new fridge. Y'all didn't hear about that. I have a new fridge. That's a whole long story because I went six years with a dead fridge in my kitchen literally it didn't work literally it was dead luckily i had a really ugly piece of crap fridge in another room that i could just walk back and forth so that carpet is quite stained from all the spills anyway uh, now that i have a nice size fridge with a huge freezer i can make fun ice mold things brain freeze that's hilarious it comes with some gummy worms in there and lemon lime drink i think and i will make this for halloween i think so that it'll be ready to go and we'll have a fun Halloween dinner before we trick-or-treat. So I love that. I don't remember how much it is, but it wouldn't have been too much or I wouldn't have gotten it. And the last thing that I can share with you, look at this. This was $5 in the cheap bin aisle and it's a little haunted house candle holder. And I think I can actually put a real candle. I don't have to stick with these little fake candles that, you know, don't burn. So maybe we'll try this little puppy out. I have a candle right here. We're going to light it. No, I have not yet mastered the Sandra Bullock trick of blowing the candle into light. So we'll put this in. That looks pretty cute. Let's put it over here. Can you see? Not really. Maybe we'll turn off some lights. It's a little hard to see. But I think it's cute. Maybe it'll look better with a flat tea light. This isn't quite a tea light. It's a little taller. So enjoy the rest of the haul. I think I have gone through all my dollar bin things to share that are Halloween-ish. Yay, now let's move on. I went insanely gaga over the socks area i mean i like fun socks but i literally don't wear socks <laughs> except in really really cold months i'm a barefoot slash flip-flop kind of girl nice flip-flops not the rubber things i bought some socks on facebook if you follow me my post where i was like oh my gosh because this was the very first thing i saw before i realized target had a lot of stuff thinking they were probably like five or six dollars these are knee socks and I love all things Ouija. I own a Ouija board, but I don't use it. But I love the print. I love the pictures. I love Ouija. I love it. I also love Nightmare Before Christmas. So these are knee socks, a pack of two. I feel like most of these were 6 or $7 if they came with packs of two. I could be wrong. These are slipper socks that have like the little rubbery bottoms. I have two sets, but the other set... Pucci wore and I forgot what it has on it. I feel like it's a skeleton or something. It's more black, but there's lots of different designs. I feel like these are probably like $4. Don't, don't quote me on that. Look at this. This is for me. These are super tall knee socks and look at the tippy top. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? These do not have the rubber things on the bottom, but these came in a set of three. We got Jack. We got Jack. And we got Sally. You don't get much Sally out there. I love Sally so much. I'm going to maybe attempt this year to be Sally. I have two Sally costumes. One was skin tight. It was in a video I showed three years ago. I don't know why I showed you how tight it was. Probably because I was still drinking back then. You know, when you're videoing with um, a couple glasses of wine, you're like, yeah, I should show this skin tight outfit. No, 
These are already opened. They are poochies, but they're more tall socks for the kitty cat. He'll just wear these around the house. They're not actually knee socks. We got two sets of these Hogwarts socks. These are probably closer to $10, but they also come with, I think five, one, two, three, four, with five sets. So you got Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Leatherhead. And then, um, I mean, all the houses, obviously Gryffindor, but then it also has the Deathly Hallow. This is for Poochie. You don't know Jack. When I showed him that, he loved it. It was $8.99. For $16.99, for me, this is totally cute. Sort of like a baseball shirt, but way more fun than baseball. You could say a lot of that stuff could be a waste of money. I would disagree because we will use and love all those other things. Maybe not the bun maker, but we'll see. These two things were pure impulse slash waste of money because they are costumes for a cat. And if your cat is anything like my cat, you know that that's a waste of money because your cat will kill you before they wear it. Be that as it may, they were too cute and I had to do it. And honestly, I just got a paycheck for the first time in forever and I was excited. Cow. Since my kitty's black and white, I thought the cow would be totally cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And if I ever get a picture, you know you'll see it. And then one more. This is the one where I will get wounded, which by the way, sorry, uh, I got wounded last night just for nothing. When I walk down the stairs and trail my hand along the banister, she has to like, bah! you know, she thinks we're playing. She likes to hurt me when we play. It's a majestic unicorn. Oh, my cat will kill me. I can't wait. It is pouring. It's cold. It's 62 degrees. I'm in heaven. Last week we had to stay in for recess for part of the week because it was so hot that the heat index was like 105 and the air quality was crap. I had to keep a bunch of really hyper eight-year-olds inside when they need to run. <laughs> so yay to the rain, yay to the cold weather. We would go out on this kind of day. We'll go out in the rain because that's fine. One thing I didn't share with you, I think I did a, yeah, I did a Michael's haul, I believe, not that long ago. And I don't think I shared this. You know how Michael's is crazy expensive. So this was, I believe, $7.99. Is that what that says up there? Yeah, $7.99. Look at these little glass jars with corks, and they have little pictures, Halloween images on them. You know I love little jars, little bottles, things in glass with corks. When I see this kind of thing, I have to have it. And I actually use them. I run out of them, so buying more was good. I can't say that's true for everything. Many things I buy, I don't use for a while, or maybe I haven't used it all yet, but those things I use constantly. They are spells, for, you know, for spells on the go. They are for taking little small amounts of powders, or if they're, if they're spill-proof liquids, these are not going to be spill-proof, I know. Okay, I think that's it for my haul. Since I got you here, and if you actually want to see one more thing, I have one more thing I can share. I'm proud of myself. This past summer, uh, one of my goals was to finally sit down and use all these crystal beads that I have bought over the years at Michael's. They have lots of beautiful beads. I only buy the ones that are non-colored and that are just their natural stone, but I've been collecting them for a long time. I wanted to make a long mala necklace chain. It turned out way longer than I thought it would, and I didn't even use as many beads as you're supposed to use. I think because my beads are super big, that's one of the reasons. And it took a while, because you tie knots in between every single bead, and that takes a while, but you it's supposed to be a meditative kind of process. I made mine, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, because the lighting is really low. Let's turn this up, that doesn't help much. It is supposed to be kind of chakra-ish. So the bottom, ooh, the bottom of it is a blue lace agate, but then it goes up kind of according to the chakras. There's a big hole right there. It actually doesn't look that bad. I just have to move this one back. There we go. I fixed it. Again, it's my first try, and I have learned about myself. I have a, I have inferior fine motor skills, so I'm just gonna say I'm really proud of it, even. If it's not perfect, I ain't selling it. It ain't going on Etsy. It's for me. And all the way back up to the top. So it's huge and I love it. And I have used it a few times to try to meditate with. But that's the whole point. You're supposed to pray on each bead. Sort of, I guess, like the rosary. I'm not Catholic. I don't know. 
but I like to sit under the full moon. Today is a new moon. If it wasn't pouring, I would like to sit outside under the new moon and maybe just pray over the bottom chakras. I don't know. Okay, this is getting chatty and goofy and I haven't liked the way the light has been reflecting on my concealer that's not concealing very well. I had salt for dinner. Like literally, I had salt for dinner. Tons of super salty salsa and salty chips. They were triscuits and um, I'm not a sweet tooth. I am salty. Let's end this, shall we? Thank you for watching, guys. Have a wonderful week. And share your hauls if you find some things. I'm sure it's only a matter of time till Target officially gets their stuff in. Thank you for watching. Be well. Peace.